Hi there. Now, before we start the last part C, just to recap, we're given this figure here, which shows this finite region R, bounded by the x-axis, the y-axis, and the line x equals pi upon 2, and the curve with equation y equals sec a half x, for values of x going between 0 and pi upon 2 inclusive. Now we're told that this region R is rotated through 2 pi radians about the x-axis. And we've now got to use calculus to find the exact volume of the solid formed for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, so welcome back then, if you had a go. So to get this volume then, we should be familiar with the fact that when we rotate an area about the x-axis, then that volume generated is always equal to pi times the integral of y squared with respect to x going between your limits of x. And in this example, the limits for x are going from 0 to pi upon 2. So put those in from 0 to pi upon 2. So standard formula here. Plenty of examples on this if you just go on my website. Okay. So all we need to do then is just fill in our value for what y is. Well, we're told that y is equal to sec half x or sec x over 2. And so we just need to square that. So that's going to be sec squared of x over 2. And we're integrating that with respect to x. And the limits then are going from 0 to pi upon 2. Now this is quite a nice integral. We should be familiar with the fact that uh, if we were to differentiate the tangent of x, it gives sec squared x. So integrating sec squared x would be tan x. The only problem is we've got this half here. So we have to make an adjustment on that. And so if you integrate sec squared half x, what you get back is 2 times the tan then of the angle. Tan, in this case, of x over 2. Now, we're multiplying by pi, so I'm going to put the pi in there. And I'm also going to insert our brackets here, OK, for the limits. So around there like so and our limits are going from 0 to pi upon 2. Okay so if we now substitute our limits in okay we've got then for the uh, pi upon 2 we've got tan of half of pi upon 2 which is going to be the tan of pi upon 4 radians. And then we need to subtract, when we put 0 through, well that's going to be the tan of 0. So, working these out, we've got 2 pi multiplied by, now the tan of pi upon 4 radians, the equivalent of 45 degrees, is 1. Tan of 0 radians, or 0 degrees, that's the equivalent, is 0. So we subtract 0. So what we're left with then is 2 pi. And because it's a volume, I'm going to write units cubed. OK, again, not that you need to write that in, but uh, I just think it makes sense when you're doing a volume. All right. So there we go. That brings us now to the end of that question.